This is what we're talking about. Delict half side for Manchester United. Somebody was asking, what's the news about Delict? There you go. That's what you're seeing right now. Uh, Fabrizio Romano has reported, here we go. Manchester United have agreed on, on, on a deal uh, to sign uh, Matthias De Ligt from FC Bayern Munich. Uh, Bayern Munich accepted Manchester United's initial condition uh, to include add-ons as a part of a total package, which is worth about 50 million quid, uh, 45 million pound uh, fixed fee, and then 5 million on add-ons and also payment to be uh, spread over uh, three years as a crucial step for Manchester United. That's really good news. That is really, really good news. Uh, Matthias De Ligt, of course, will sign a five-year um, five deal, uh, plus one-year option, all set when he will be authorized to travel, of course. But this is good. This is really good. In the meantime, Mazarawi and De Ligt only wanted uh, United moves since June. That's what Fabricio reporting, uh, uh, patiently waiting almost two months for it. And finally, finally, it's probably is agreed, uh, has been agreed right now, has been agreed right now. It's not, not only this, guys, not only this, but on another news, on another news. This is not just one transfer we're talking about. This is not just one transfer we're talking about. Here you go. This is another one. This is another one, Maserawi, Maserawi, here we go. There's two here we goes going on at the same damn time. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Manchester United have uh, completed a deal to sign uh, Nazuri Maserawi from FC Bayern Munich. Uh, transfer fee will be a 50 million pound plus add-ons, 5 million on add-ons. Uh, the plan was always for Maserawi to join after Juan Bissaka. Exit. So Wamsaka has joined West Ham. Uh, so therefore, Maserawi has joined Manchester United. Wamsaka goes to West Ham and Maserawi signs. And uh, and the next week, uh, Manchester United on a five-year deal contract. That's what Fabrizio Romano is reporting. And deal will include an extra year option negotiating by his agent. Uh, uh, and documentation and travel, all that jazz is being prepared. Uh, Ten Hag wants uh, and wanted. Ten Hag wanted Maserawi as... He used to work with him at Ajax and now can also help him as a left back or right back when needed. Big, big signings, people. Big, big uh, movements from Manchester United. They've been quiet the whole week, but now we finally made two uh, massive signings. Let me know your thoughts. Rate these signings. What do you guys think about Maserawi? What do you guys think about Maserawi? And uh, what do you guys think about Delict? This will be interesting, bro. Like, this is massive, massive uh, day. It is a massive day for Manchester United. Massive day for Manchester United. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for those two signings. I think Delict is going to be a starter, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, Euro is going to be out for like two months. Imagine Martinez and Delict playing together. That's almost the Ajax back four, if you will. And having Maserawi as a right back or left back gives you pretty much the back four from Ajax. And we're making improvements. We're making improvement to the squad. Eric Ten Hag now doesn't have any excuse. He just does not have any excuse not to deliver the season. Minimum. And this season, we should be finishing in the top four. That is the minimum. That is the minimum. Maybe win a cup here or there. Maybe the Europa League but we definitely need to finish in the top four now. And we need to see some sort of a playing style, some sort of philosophy within the team. That needs to happen now. We haven't seen it for the past two, three seasons. It needs to happen now. Ten Hag doesn't have any excuses. He just doesn't have any excuses. If he doesn't deliver, we're going to have to get rid of him. We're going to have to get rid of him. Uh, Christian says both ex Ajax players too. Yeah, yeah. Some people were making fun of us. They were saying the Netherlands FC because we're signing Dutch players, we're signing players from the Dutch league. So look, you can have your own opinion. Now that we've decided to keep Ten Hag, we need to back him fully. There is no 50-50, there is no uh, huff and puff. If you're gonna support the manager, support him all the way 100% and see if he can deliver and see if he can't or if he can deliver. So I think now he has no excuse 
he needs to deliver. Uh, I think the leadership has given him everything he wanted. Xerxes is another Dutch player. They've given him everything. They've given him everything. So it's time for him to deliver. It's time for him to deliver. King says, good, we have him. I'm, I'm loving the club United again. Uh, what thoughts? Just give me your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about these signings? Which one is a better signing, Delict or Mazarawi? And how would you rate these signings? Delict out of uh, from one to ten. Uh, well, one to ten. What would you uh, give him in terms of his level? And the same goes for Mazarawi. I'm gonna give them both. I'm gonna say seven out of ten signings. I wouldn't say ten out of ten. Delict. Possibly, Delict possibly could be a, a 10 out of 10 player. I ain't gonna lie. He could definitely be a 10 out of 10 player. But right now, I'm just slightly concerned. Slightly concerned that he might, he might not always be fit. That is the biggest concern that I have. He might not just be fit every single time. That's the only concern I have in terms of his playing style, in terms of his performance. I think he's gonna deliver. He's going to deliver big time and he's a much better player than Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans or Lindelof. So, for sure, I believe in Delict. I just hope, I just hope that he stay, he stays fit. That's the only concern I have. That is the only concern I have for Delict. Mazarawi, don't really know him that much. Like I said, don't really know him that much, but I think he should deliver. Uh, four assists in 29 games last season, all competition for Mazarawi. Uh, Delict played 30 games last season, all competition. Age 24, Mazarawi's age 26. So it's not bad. They're not old players. They're still young. There's still a lot of room to improve. There's still a lot of room to improve. So those two signings are not bad, are not bad. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, like I said, give me your thoughts. Let me know in the comment sections which signing do you like the most and how can they improve this team? How can they improve Manchester United? You guys let me know in the comment section. But yeah, uh, Christian says, boom, great players. Yeah, decent players, decent players. Like I said, I'll definitely give them seven out of 10 minimum. I'll definitely give them seven out of 10 or eight out of 10, especially for Delict. I would do that. But one Bissaka is gone, people. As confirmed, Wampasaka has joined West Ham, so Wampasaka is not going to be here. Sad to see Wampasaka leave, but it needed to happen. It just needed to happen. Wampasaka was just not offering anything in terms of attack. And in this DNA age, you need to be able to do both. And, and Maserawi, I think Maserawi can do that. But yeah, guys, yeah, make sure, make sure you let me know in the comment section your thoughts about these two signings.